In this video, I will show you how to install Git on your computer. In this case, I will install it on my Mac OS, and for and I will show you how to install it on Linux. Installation for in Windows is the same as we install for Mac OS. So, let's go to the main Git site. It's git scm.com, and on the main page, we will see the button for download Git. So, let's click it. And after that, we will download it. It will be redirected to some SourceForge site. And after that, you can download. Here you can download your the last lot, the latest version of Git. Okay, let's open it and install this package. It's okay. So let's inst let's let's install it with the OpenWiz installer. And uh, open. And now what we need is let's click continue, continue, and everything will be on default. My name. Okay, so everything was successful. Let's close it. Move to trash. Okay, and now we can open our terminal and uh, check version. So we see that it's the latest version 2.23. So let's install it on uh, Linux. So for this we will use uh, Google Cloud Platform. Here I created a Git instance. It's a virtual machine instance, computer engine. So let's connect. It's just uh, the smallest F1 micro server with allowed firewalls rules for HTTP and HTTPS traffic. So let's open it. Okay, we are here. It's uh, Debian. What do we have? Yes, Debian la latest version. So first of all, let's update it. And after that, install Git. Just up get install git. Yes. Let's clear it and uh, check version. So git version. It's the same, not the latest, but it's okay. So let's. Uh, What's important in Git installation is that you do not need any dependencies for Git. You do not need to install Java, JDK, or any global variables. You just uh, install Git and everything works from the box. The next one what I want to show is smallest configuration. Let's generate small SSH key, which we are going to use on our repository servers. In our case, it will be GitHub. So, again, let's go to our console in our computer. Let's clear it and uh, generate the uh, SSH key. For this one, for generating, we will use uh, SSH key gen. It's uh, installed on Mac, on Linux, and if uh, you are using Windows, it will be installed with uh, Git at the same time. As a type, I said RSA, and uh, as a comment, it will be my email, my old email. Yes, so it's C should be uppercase. Uh, here it uh, the here we can see the path we are going to save our file. It will look it for this folder. I just gonna change a bit the name because I have already this file. So let's copy and um, set uh, git basic. Uh, here we need uh, it's a password, passphrase. I can leave it empty, but you can add something simple because it's um, you're going to use it when you're going to log into the system. I will put it the same. It's empty. And here we have this file. So let's go to this folder and check what do we have. 
So let's go to SSH. Here we have this file. So here we have a public key is the GitHub basic public and we have a private key. Let's check what's inside. So here we can see that uh, private key. Uh, never do not uh, share this file with anybody. It should be on your computer, but you can share a public key. Let's take a look on public key. It's our public key and in the end we have our comment, it's our email. So right now what we need, we need to add this public key to our GitHub repository. Okay, I'm on GitHub repository, you can go to settings page, it's settings. And here we see that we have SSH and, and other keys. And let's add the new SSH key. Title will be git basic. And here we need to put our SSH key. Let's copy the whole string with comment and save. So here we can see that we have our first key and then we can use it to, this key it will use for subscription all commits. We're going to push to this GitHub server. The next one, what we are, the next one, what we need to configure, it's uh, configure username and uh, email on Git. So let's go again to our console. Let's close it and let's go to home. So uh, we need to uh, put uh, username and uh, email uh, to identify a user who pushed uh, some comments. So how can we do it? We can uh, set comments like Git config with flag global it will be for all repositories in your computer if you want to use for your local repository or just for one repository you can configure it in another way it's not global it will be local and set the user name we can set and also to do the same for email It's my old email again. And now we can check what we set by calling the same without parameters. So let's check our email. Yes, it's what we expected and our name. And name is the same. So now we finish configuring Git in, on our local machine. In the same time, we can do the same configuration on our Linux server. So here in Linux, we can check uh, global configuration and now it's empty. So you can configure it by yourself. We are going to use this uh, server to show how Git works from different computers. You can use any server. It might, might be your local computer. It might be Google Cloud platform server or, or AWC. Doesn't matter. Just create anything what you want.